Alright guys, welcome to another quick review. In this quick review we're going to take a look at the Sun. And the first thing we'll look at is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. This little small speck over here, that's our Earth. Really tiny, really small. And all the way over here we have this big, gigantic Sun. Okay, Now here on the screen it may look like an inch in distance, but actually we are 93 million miles away. So we're very, very far away from the, the sun. Now, even though this small Earth may look small to this big circle of the sun, it's actually not even quite even close to this, this scale. See, because the sun can hold about a million Earths. So, about really small little specks. That is how many, that, these are more like the scale of an Earth. So basically, the sun is really, really big and really far from the Earth. And yet, it provides us with a significant amount of heat and the amount of light. Now, how does it do that? Well, we have to take a look at what the sun is made of first. Now, the sun is made up of two main ingredients, and that is hydrogen hydrogen, and helium. Now, the sun is majority hydrogen, so it's about 70% hydrogen, and only about, say, 28% helium. And you say, well, what about the other 2%? Well, the other 2% goes on to the other elements, but majority of these two elements. And it's because the sun is made up of these two particular gases that it's special. Okay? And the, the sun is basically a big ball of gas. Now, because it's so huge in this big ball of gas, a lot of things occur. Well, there's atoms of hydrogen and atoms of helium. And these atoms of hydrogen are swirling around, and they're running into each other, bouncing off of each other. But when you have such a large mass, especially at the center of the sun, you, go, you have a process called nuclear fusion that occurs. And we'll look at that here in a second. Now, if we have one atom of hydrogen so here's a little atom, here's an atom of hydrogen and it's traveling in the sun really really fast moving at a very quick pace there's a lot of pressure a lot of heat in the sun okay and when it collides with another atom of hydrogen so we have this one coming here and it's going to collide with this atom here something occurs when these two hit at such a high rate of speed, speed, they fuse. And this is the process of nuclear fusion. So, nuclear fusion. So they come and they hit each other at such a high rate of speed that they form a new element. And this element is helium. But, here's the thing. This hydrogen was a certain amount of mass, and this hydrogen was a certain amount of mass. So you think the helium would be the addition of this mass and this mass, but it's not. It actually weighs less than this and this combined. And that's because when they collide, some of that mass is given off in a form of energy. So it loses some of its mass. So the helium is actually smaller than the hydrogens, both of their masses ad added together. It's actually smaller because it loses it to energy. And this energy is what's sent through all the layers of the sun and eventually reaches us. So this, through this process of nuclear fusion, the sun generates the, the light that we use here on Earth. So we're very lucky to have the sun. Right. So in our next video, we'll take a look at the different type of features on the sun and like promises in solar flares. So tune into that one and I'll see you guys later. Bye.